Once a troubled corner of Chicago, but the area that was home to the Cabrini Green housing projects has changed pretty drastically over the years as the Chicago Housing Authority prepares to develop what's left. CBS2 Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli spoke with those still living in the last remnants of Cabrini Green. What, what, what can you really say? Because there's a lot of people that have already formed an opinion about Cabrini Green. From we took a walk here. through what's left of Cabrini Green with a man who's called it home for 30 years, Eddie Mohammed. The high rises, it, 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 it just breeded corruption. That's all it is. It breeded corruption. But I'm glad they're gone. 15,000 people lived in the public housing community at its peak. But what many called home was also plagued by violence. The last of Cabrini Green's high rises were taken down in 2011. What remains now are 137 units in a series of renovated row houses just north of Chicago Avenue. Curiously, they sit beside about 450 fenced off and boarded up units the CHA says have been vacant for a number of years due to deteriorating conditions. They're sitting here idle, no, they're, they're serving no purpose. What should the city do? This, what the city should do is come down, create a plant, open these, these back up. For the last, you know, 10 years, those families have been living next to that, those boarded up apartments. Author Ben Austin has chronicled the changes at Cabrini Green in his book, High Risers. It put people in, in a really precarious, dangerous situation. The Chicago Housing Authority will select a firm to redevelop the site by year's end. It's a neighborhood surrounded by profound change, now populated by high-tech workers trendy restaurants, and both mixed income and pricier condominiums. Of families earning over $200,000 a year, this is the fastest growing area, not just in the city, but in the nation. It should scare all of us because the city is becoming a place where that, that few could afford to live. This is all I know. For those still connected to Cabrini Green's row houses. They're building this up right now to push us out of here. A new neighborhood may surround them, but it feels a world away. Has that made life better here or No, not? no, it hasn't made life better. Kids can't even have pets over here, but our next door neighbors, they have all kinds of gigantic dogs. Still, in the units on the other side of the fence, some see hope in their redevelopment. So you can get more lower income families into these, into these houses. At the row houses of Cabrini Green, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Now the row houses date back to 1942 and the first of Cabrini Green's high rises back to 1957.